All right, in this video, I'm gonna talk about a, a, a big portion of the what. So what is changing exactly with the Sunday rally? So we want to really tighten up the online experience and uh, and release more of the community time, the response time uh, to to the R3 groups. And so uh, a big portion of that for now is going to be the response time, right? Where we just how do we respond to what God is doing in our community? And uh, and right now we we have um, kind of five parts that we lead through at the end of the sermon time uh, after some worship uh, and and now we want to to push those five elements to you guys um, because it's a major part of our service and I think uh, we're doing a little bit of an injustice by keeping it online rather than uh, centered in real live flesh and blood people together in the room together and so uh, and so there you go so that's what, one of the things we're going to need to to change is the invitation into a response time uh, with the Lord right <clears throat> um, so how are we going to do this um, we, uh, we, this is, this is the big goal, right? Like we want people to discover identity and destiny in Christ. Okay. And, uh, and you get to invite people into that relationship. We want to facilitate relationship time. We want to create open doors for people to walk through, to, to experience God, to be with God, uh, and his people. And so, um, Historically, in our services, we've done uh, these these things. We've done response in communion, right? Like, oh, God, you you've commanded us to do this uh, every time we gather, um, and so we're going to do that, even if we're gathering online. Um, but more so, uh, it is it is the communion of the saints, the communion with God together, represented by the uh, the elements of Jesus' broken body and shed blood. And so we want. Um, the R3 leaders to facilitate that time of communion. Uh, another thing is the invitation to faith. So if you've been uh, ex experiencing some guests who've been joining your community, amazing. We want to invite those people to follow Jesus, um, not in an awkward way, but we'll, we'll talk about exactly how we do it, but we want to invite them to follow Jesus to discover their identity. Like, hey, today we talked about, um, about you know, sonship in, Christ, right? Sonship to the Father God. And, uh, and would you like to experience that? Would you, is that true for you? And, uh, and so we want to invite them into the faith. Um, we also want to uh, have you guys invite people to give. So you're already, as an R3 leader, part of your natural rhythm is to check in on finances. Are people stewarding them well? Do people understand kingdom economy around money and how that works? And so, uh, so we want to um, have the invitation to give uh, be um, in your time together uh, so that you as the leader can lead the community in that. We also want the invitation to prayer, right? So we've uh, historically put up a thing in the chat that says, hey, you know, we want to pray for you. Click here if you want someone to pray for you. And hopefully if our community is gathering more and more and more in bubbles that are safe because you're committed to each other, you love each other, your family together, um, the invitation to, to pray uh, will be much better suited for our community. Um, and as well, the invitation to worship. You are the one who gets to rile up the community, lead them in song to the Lord Jesus, and, uh, and an invitation to participate in the mission. And so that's where we, we talk about what's going on in our community. We allow people um, an opportunity to kind of peek behind the curtain, understand the vision of the things that we do, and invite them to do it. So it's kind of like the announcements time. So those are the things that are changing. That's what we're putting on to you. Stay tuned. I'm going to explain each one in a little bit more detail for you um, and give you some practical tips and pointers to how to facilitate a meaningful time around response to the Lord. So that's it for this video. Now you know what is changing. Let's talk about why and how and all that.